hello guys welcome to my channel today i have an amazing series for you guys and it's about django course complete django course with interview preparation series so this is not just a django course that i'll show you how to build a website each and every part will be discussed in briefly in a series of videos uh, part one part two three four like that and i will cover all the things like its architecture its advantages disadvantages on why should you use it in which cases and its main architecture and its which architecture it follows like MVT pattern all those things and in MVT pattern we have also model so Django has a huge model field that you have to learn like email field character field text field and uh, all those fields that you need to understand and create a database model uh, that represents actual database field in this model so this is one of the part of MVT pattern you need to understand the Django model architecture very well then we have the view that controls all the things in your database and query all your information from the database that you have created using the model and get all of those data and pass those values that you have parsed or query from the model and pass those values using the context to the template and then where the template is important it is the place where you show all of your information of this website in a html page and i will also show you how to customize it and add bootstrap framework to it and you can make uh, customizable website using bootstrap framework or any other framework as you like and I'll show you how to make dynamic template uh, okay that comes all the information comes from the database and show you how to modify it edit it create it and delete it from the actual template of the HTML page okay so I'll show you all the functionalities and how you can make base HTML and you can inherit those in other templates I will also show you how to add your database of MySQL integration in your Django project and every single thing of it. Then I'll show you how to you understand and how to query all the information that you have set in the database and you can get all those information in the query sets. And I will also show you how you can use your model forms that represents the model of your website or the model of your database. And when you input all of your values in the model form, and it is uploaded to the database and I'll also show you how we can do that properly. Then I will also show you how you can customize your admin panel and add all of the information from the admin and create super user and all of those things. And I will also show you how you can add login registration authentication to your website and same as well as pagination to your website so that you can uh, see each product, five product or six product in each pages, okay? Then this is our main thing that we will create a full website using the MVT pattern model view template architecture. I will show you how to use database query from the database of MySQL document. And I will also show you all the information in a bootstrap framework where I will show you how to customize your HTML pages. Okay. And show all the information from the database that you have rendered. And the bootstrap HTML pages would be dynamic. And the information would be coming from the database as well. So these are the main thing that we will cover. Then the main topic the operation that we'll do is crude create read update and delete and all the information and all those operation will be done from our html pages okay not from the admin panel direct from the html pages and we'll also do the pagination so that we can see each product in a page by page order like page one page two all of this uh, logic would be there okay then i will also show you how you can do authentication system so these are the main thing that will wrap up the series and learn each part by part uh, properly and perfectly so that we can do very well in interview preparation suppose you are using a django project that contains a lots of app a django project can have a lot of different app that does different kind of purpose work okay so you have a urls.py file that will render a particular html pages based on which url you have set so this is urls.py file and views file is containing the main business logic and this is actually your main python functions that will import in the urls.py file when you go to that particular url this view will work and views contains a lot of function to different kind of things like show all of your product add product delete product update product like all of this functionality would be stayed in the view and the view have the ability to inherit all the models and you will import models in the view so that you can access all the models and get query all of the database and add to the view and view also have the power to send all of this information to the template that present the html files and the models is actually giving us all the information that is coming from the database and view actually using it and sending all of this information to the html pages 
So view actually takes information from the model and send it to the template. And URL is actually the main URL that when we hit those particular URL in the web pages, which page or which functionality would be done is identified those particular URL. When you go to the home URL, it will go to the it will do home function. When you go to the add product pages, it will function add product function. When you go to the delete any product or update any product URL, it will render those view functions. Okay. So URL is the main thing that controls everything that which particular URL, what you are doing and views actually getting the information from the database and model and send it to the template. Okay. Which template we want to render at particular URL. So these are the main thing that four things are very important, which is URL, views.py, models, and templates. So that's why it is MVT pattern, which is very important for Django. And in many other web framework, we use this kind of pattern. Okay, so you have to understand it very properly so that you can do work more perfectly. But in this case, uh, you are not going to understand very well because you are not seeing actual code that which file is models, which file is view, which file is template. Okay, we, you have to understand everything in detail. We'll learn it in full detail and full practical way. So don't worry, we will be covering a lot of things. So Django is a Python based web framework for rapid development. Okay, so when you want to ask anyone that what is Django? Django is a Python based, it is completely written in Python. It is Python based web framework that is used for rapid development. Okay, so that we can, I can build the website very quickly and easily. And the advantages of Django is huge. Firstly, it is used for fast development. Second, it is very developer friendly. It has a very clean code architecture that uses different kind of MBT pattern. It is very, very scalable. You can add a lot of features, a lot of functionalities in this website and make it very scalable. Okay. It follows design, uh, a perfect design pattern, which is MBT, which is really good. And it is very organized code. And it has an awesome documentation. When you go to the Django documentation, you see its Django documentation is super. Okay. And it has a lot of feature packed admin panel. And you can also customize it. You can have all the things that you want from the admin panel. You can add uh, product, delete product, update product. Everything that you want from the code functionality is already added uh, in the admin panel. And you can also customize it. And how you want to see the admin panel, you can do this. I will also show you how to do that as well. And it has a huge, huge community that you can get help. You can get uh, any group, Facebook group and, and ask for any help and they will help you and many things as well. And I already told you it is a very clean code and the code is really good. And it is like you are writing an English sentence like this because it is Python based. So the, the problem that we have is it is a huge learning curve. You have to learn about model. You have to learn about view. You have to learn about template. You need to learn about function based component. You need to learn about authentication, uh, database integration. You need to learn a lot of third party module authentication, then model forms, then how to create model, how to uh, create view functions, how we understand the urls.py file, how you customize pa admin panel. There are a lot of things to learn in this Django framework. That's why it is not good for a smaller project. It is not for a smaller project. And you have to learn a lot of lot of things to learn Django. Okay. And it, it has a lot of bulky modules. You, you have to import a lot of modules to understand many things like form module, crispy form module, or any other third party module that you want to use. You have to use a lot of modules in Django. Okay. That's why it is huge problem sometimes. Okay. So these are the top three disadvantages that I currently have. If I know more about it, I will tell you more about it. So let's start the main series and get started on our main project so that we can create project and understand how the project is structured and how the files is going on and how we create an apps inside a project of Django and all of those basic commands that you need to understand, you will understand everything of it. So that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to show you everything, how to build a project and how to make app in a project and set it to the setting file and how to, how to integrate our database, MySQL database and how to create our models and go to the admin panel and add all the products information from the admin panel. All of those things will be covered there. So till then, thanks for watching guys. I'll be coming with the next video.